Hi, I am Dr. Nagbushan. I am a consultant intervention radiologist in Manipal Hospital, Whitefield and Vardur. Uterine fibroids are uh, non-cancerous swellings or lumps which are seen in uh, uh, uterine musculature. Around 70 to 80% of the women experience these uterine fibroids in some part of their life, but only 10 to 20% of them become symptomatic. The symptoms present as pain or heaviness in the abdomen, lower abdomen especially. Some uh, women experience uh, irregular cycles, pain or uh, more bleeding during uh, the menstrual cycle. When some fibroids are large, they compress on bladder, causing a, a increased sensation of uh, passing urine. Sometimes, rarely, they present as uh, uh, painful sexual intercourse. There are both medical and surgical treatments available for this condition. When the women are not relieved uh, medically, then there are surgical methods such as uh, hysterectomy, which is done more commonly, uh, which is complete removal of the uterus. Uh, recent advances like uh, laparoscopic myomectomy removes only the fibroid part. This is also done by gynecologist. And the more recent uh, uh, technique is the uterine fibroid embolization where we intervention radiologists come into picture and uh, this procedure has uh, proven its benefit in this condition. The first and foremost uh, advantage is the uterus is not removed in this procedure. So uh, we are preserving the uterus uh, uh, which is very important for the women's uh, uh, physical and mental and reproductive well-being. Second is uh, there is uh, no scar or no uh, suture on the body. So we are doing this with a small 2 to 3 millimeter pinhole uh, incision. Third, there is very less uh, hospital stay duration and fourth, uh, uh, the there is faster recovery and the woman can uh, take up uh, her routine activities in a week's time. Yes, uh, apart from uh, routine blood investigations, uh, we uh, advise uh, MRI contrast with pelvis. So this serves uh, new, uh, many advantages. First, we can confirm the number, size and location of these fibroids. Second, we can uh, uh, get an idea about the blood supply to these uh, uh, fibroids. Third, there are some mimickers of fibroids like uh, focal adenomyosis and endometriosis. So these conditions can be ruled out better in MRI pelvis. And the last, sometimes uh, MRI pelvis can detect a deep-seated infection or a possible tumor in the woman so that uh, these conditions can also be addressed uh, not only stereotyping to the fibroid treatment. This procedure is done in angiographic suit. This is the place where uh, uh, angiograms and angioplasties are done for the heart. So when the patient is taken inside the angiographic suit, she will be given sedation by uh, anesthesiologist. This ensures uh, pain relief uh, and sleep during the procedure. So, uh, in addition, we also give uh, uh, SHNB nerve block to ensure the pain relief. We gain access into the blood vessel near the right groin and uh, en uh, enter uh, uterine arteries both sides selectively. We inject polyvinyl alcohol particles uh, which is needed for the treatment up to the end point is achieved. The patient is shifted back uh, uh, to the same ward and uh, uh, she is given uh, patient controlled analgesia pumps. When the uh, patient experiences crampy abdominal pain, she can press on the button and uh, the pain is relieved. So next day when we check on her, if the pain is completely relieved, she is fit for discharge or otherwise uh, we, we can extend the stay for one more day. During discharge, we advise uh, antibiotics uh, uh, which is uh, uh, needed to prevent uh, infection. We plan a second MRI after six months uh, to compare the results.
This procedure is effective for six long months. At the end of six months, when we see uh, comparing the MRI scans, the uterine fibroids would have reduced for more than half in size. Not mere the size, the symptoms uh, will get better in uh, uh, two to three months time. For women who had uh, irregular cycles, the first and second uh, periods uh, may be similar or more worse, but from third cycle onwards, the symptoms would start settling. Yes, pregnancy can be planned after the procedure. As I earlier said, this procedure will be effective till six months. We usually advise the woman to restrain from pregnancy for six months and later on the pregnancy can be planned. Whether it is a single or multiple fibroids, a single uterine fibroid embolization procedure addresses all the fibroids at once. No, this is a myth. There is no need of a hysterectomy after embolization procedure. Yes, we are a team of uh, intervention radiologists and uh, Manipal Institute of uh, Clinical and Intervention Radiology. We are four consultants with specialists and fellows. We cater services to all Manipal units. All the Manipal hospital uh, units are equipped with uh, state-of-the-art angiography equipment. So these procedures can be done very safe and effectively.